Let's switch to the iOS XE, and that's convert access devices. And again, I'm showing you these switches, but the same would be working on the 5760 as well. If you want to manipulate configurations, well, you just go to configuration commands on the graphical interface, and same as usual, there is download and upload. Notice that upload works for configuration, but upload would not work for codes. Here, just like on the AirOS, you can upload configuration files, but you cannot upload the code. The code is at cisco.com. You download it and you put whatever you need, but you cannot copy code from one device to the other. But configuration, you can. So you go to download or upload, choose the configuration option, choose if it's TFTP or FTP, and as usual, put the IP address, source or destination, the file path, file name. If it's FTP, put the username and password. Voila, click upload or click download. It's going to work. So let me upload one to show you what happens when you do so. Let me put it somewhere. Let's give it a name like 3850t.cfg configuration file. You can use any extension, right? As long as you know what extension you're using, that's fine. And because it's FTP username and password, upload. And guess what? It's going to upload. So now I have my file somewhere in FTP. If I want to download a file because I'm restoring configuration, same thing, I need basic IP connectivity from that switch, and then I just put download configuration, FTP, TFTP, file path, file name, etc., and I'm going to retrieve back my CFG file and go download file, and it's going to complete. And voila, that's pretty much all there is to do on the graphical interface. You can do the same, of course, from the CLI, and if you do it from the graphical interface, as you can tell, it tells you on the CLI, just as log, that it happened, right? It was downloaded from FTP, blah, 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 by Cisco user from the VTY interface, which is the uh, web interface I was using uh, via Telnet. If you are a CLI person rather than a graphical interface person, well, it's the same command as anywhere else on iOS, so it's copy from TFTP, for example, to run in config, or from FTP to startup config, depending on if you want to run the config or if you want just to save it and reboot. And because it's copy, right, you can also do the other way around. You say copy running config to FTP, copy running config or startup config to FTP, etc. So it's the classical iOS command here as well. Pretty simple.